refining the campaign to urge Americans to take the shot. The swine flu vaccine has been taken by many important persons, he wrote. Example, President Ford, Henry Kissinger, Elton John, Muhammad Ali, Mary Tyler Moore, Rudolph Nureyev, Walter Cronkite, Ralph Nader, Edward Kennedy, etc., etc. Mary, did you take a swine flu shot? No, I did not. Did you give them permission to use your name saying that you had or were going to? Absolutely not. Never did. Dr. David Sensor, then head of the CDC, the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, is now in private industry. He devised the swine flu program, and he pushed it. Where did this so-called deadly variety of flu, where did it first hit back in 1976? It began right here at Fort Dix in New Jersey in January of that year when a number of recruits began to complain of respiratory ailments, something like the common cold. An army doctor here sent samples of their throat cultures to the New Jersey Public Health Lab to find out just what kind of bug was going around here. One of those samples was from a Private David Lewis who had left his sickbed to go on a forced march. Private Lewis had collapsed on that march, and his sergeant had revived him by mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. But the sergeant showed no signs of illness. A few days later, Private Lewis died. The New Jersey lab identified most of those soldiers' throat cultures as the normal kind of flu virus going around that year, but they could not make out what kind of virus was in the culture from the dead soldier and from four others who were sick. So they sent those cultures to the Federal Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, Georgia, for further study. A few days later, they got the verdict, swine flu. But that much-publicized outbreak of swine flu at Fort Dix involved only Private Lewis, who died, and those four other soldiers who recovered completely without the swine flu shot. If I had known at that time that the boy had been in a sick bed, got up, went out on a forced march, and then collapsed and died, I would never have taken a shot. 